Uh, the original title is, It's Not That Bad to Be Ill, in all lowercase letters. And I titled it, Sick with Benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono was lying in his bed when suddenly he heard a knock on the door. Why he keeps knocking on the door? <laughs> Maka stepped into the into Chrono's room to see him totally under his blanket. Maka asked him confused. Are you okay, Chrono? Maka asked a little worried about him. They already said you asked. <laughs> Chrono nodded, but it was hard to see because he was shivering under his blanket. Maka sighed and put her head also under the blanket. What? What, what am I doing? I'm going to under here. <laughs> to also see him shivering. Yeah, I saw he was shivering. Why do I have to peep at him uh. under the blanket? Are you cold? He's shivering! <laughs> Maka asked. Kerna nodded and he sneezed. <laughs> Maka put a hand on Kerna's forehead. He was a little bit confused and asked, Where am I? Maka, what are you doing? Krona, you're burning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Today I won't let you go to school, Maka said with a stern voice. Krona didn't know what was going on. Krona then realized that Maka was really close. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh no, what do I do? <laughs> He really, oh. he really liked Maka. She was his first friend and helped him get to get rid of Medusa. Lately, when she was around him, he felt this strange feeling in his stomach. It could be because you have a fever. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw up, that's all. <laughs> Krona, still a little bit dazed from Maka's closeness, asked, Why can't I go to school? I like it there. There are all my friends. Krona looked at her with his puppy wide eyes, which made her blush a little. Oh, God. <laughs> Puss in Boots face. <laughs> Krona, you have a fever. That means your body is weaker than normally. Maka told him with a gentle voice. Uh, a fever? I don't know how to deal with a fever, Krona said, frightened. Maka soothed Krona and told him, don't worry, Krona. I'll stay at home today and help you feel better. Nobody likes to be alone when you are sick. I can remember when I was the first time ill. <laughs> My mother stayed at home and took care of me until I was back at health again. Everyone has a first time. <laughs> well, Maka is always so nice to me, even after all the bad things I had done, Krona thought. The little swordsman asked Maka, he's not little. I'm taller than you are. Yeah, but you shouldn't, but shouldn't you go to school? I don't, oh sorry, that's not a question. But shouldn't you go to school? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to skip classes just because of me. The blonde blushed about Krona's worries, but she just shook her head and said with a lovely voice, No, Krona, I don't even think about to leave you when you are sick. I'll stay here and nurse you back to health. So lovely, much pretty. Krona smiled and nodded. Maka suggested getting him another blanket, but he refused and said, can you stay here with me? Maka wasn't sure if Krona was stuttering as usual. Krona is not a stutterer, okay? Can we just make this straight? Fanfics get this wrong almost all the time. Krona is not a stutterer. I really don't stammer that much. I just don't know how to deal with things. They're different. Where am I? Help. <laughs> Second Help. line. Help me. Okay. Um, Maka wasn't sure if Krona was stuttering as usual or because he was cold, but anyway, she lifted the blanket and lay next to Krona. That's bad grammar. <laughs> I'll warn you. <laughs> Maka said and put her arm around Krona's waist. <laughs> Krona blushed as Maka cuddled her whole body against him. 
he was lucky that they were both under the blanket so Maka couldn't see now red his cheeks were. Oh, no, they're red now. Uh, that was where I felt like he was scared. Maka's Maka's eyes Maka's head was in the crook of Karma's head, so he noticed Maka's scent. Let me just note there are no apostrophes in this paragraph. Oh God. Uh, crook of, what's the crook of my head? Can I, is, is there someone who studies anatomy? What's the crook of my head? I think they meant the neck. Probably, the thing that my head is on. Crook of the neck. He liked it. It's a little sweet. Crack in the neck. And after he thought that, his cheeks were even redder. He could feel Maka's steady breath on his neck. It calmed and warmed him, but he was still cold. I'm not cold. So he put his arm around Maka's waist. Oh, jeez. I can't do this. Wait. Yeah, it does make it hard to read. I can't do this. I, have, I can see. I know I can't. Oh, I can see yours. <laughs> uh, sorry, Maka. Can I let go? Yes. There's nothing to be sorry for, silly. Maka said, which relieved Krona. It was hard to breathe. It was hard to breath for both of them. <laughs> so Maka put the blanket off their heads. <laughs> they took a deep breath of fresh air. We're inside. <laughs> it's relative. Maka could feel Krona still shivering, so she pulled the blanket up to their chins and asked, "Is this better, Krona?" Krona said, "Yes. It it's is." It is nice to c cuddle with you. <laughs> Maka blushed at the sudden compliment, but she appreciated it and thanked him. You know, it's also nice to cuddle with you. Oh. After a while, Maka let go of Krona's waist. It's been there the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I'm stuttering. Um, <clears throat> and Krona did the same. At first, he was a little disappointed, but as Maka took his hand in hers, he was happy. Oh, God. He, he liked being around Maka. Honestly, he liked everything about Maka. Mm -hmm. But what if she doesn't like me back? Maybe I should ask her, Krona thought. Krona took a deep breath and hoped he won't stutter. Then he asked. And of course, the first thing I do is stutter. <laughs> do, do you like me, Maka? Well, he did stutter, but at least he asked her. Maka was surprised by Krona's sudden question. He, yes, Krona, I really, really like you. <laughs> Maka blushed at her thoughts, but then she was, but then she had a way better idea than just tell him. She told him to close his eyes. Does this answer your question? Maka asked him. Krona was confused. What do you... Sense. 
Maka snuggled against Chrono. Mwah. You want to be friends? Friends do this all the time. <laughs> Maka snuggled against Chrono, put her arm around his waist again, and said, Are you still cold? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono shook his head and answered, Not anymore. Yeah. And Maka? Maka looked up to look into his puppy eyes. Listen, this. <laughs> um, thank you, Maka. You showed me that it that to be ill, it isn't as b bad as I b believed it would be. Oh man! Maka smiled as she laid her head in the crook of Corona's arm. <laughs> <laughs> She noticed that Krona fell asleep and thought that Krona looks cute when he's sleeping. I can't see his face! <laughs> she moved to just an inch in front of his face. I'm stuck. <laughs> and then she kissed him on the forehead. I'm too tall. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looked like Krona dreamed of Maka because he stumbled something like... Maka! <laughs> I'm awake now. Maka blushed at first, but she liked that he's dreaming of her. She kissed him once more, and then she fell asleep too. The end. <laughs>